classroom, uh, one of the classrooms here in uh, some doctors. Actually, if not on the day, this will be your classroom. Okay, our classroom for our introduction of comedy and history. So uh, today, I'm going to discuss the refractive condition for astigmatism. You know, we have already discussed about metropia, we have discussed about uh, myopia, and we have discussed about uh, hyperopia. So today, we will be talking about astigmatism. Okay, so this is the schematic drawing of the eye. I think this is better than uh, the other illustration that uh, I made, you know, on my own uh, whiteboard. But I made up the code, no? At least, mafili nyo ba ba na mo's classroom. Okay, so this is the schematic drawing of the eye. You have the cornea, you have the pupil, then you have the crystalline lens, and you have the retina here. Okay, so what is astigmatism? Astigmatism is when a parallel rays of light okay, enters the eye, okay, um, passing through the media, the refractive media, is focused on the retina with two foci. So instead of one focus, focal point, now you have with astigmatism, you have two. Okay, so that uh, makes the vision or the image that is cast somewhat distorted. No, it's not just blurred, it is actually distorted. So it can cause a lot of problems, a lot of symptoms for patients. Some patients would uh, complain, most patients would complain of not just blurred vision, but uh, they have headache, usually temporal. Then it runs to occipital, okay? That is still in the body's For some, they feel kind of vertigo, okay? But it's a little foam. Now, in worst cases, no, it's not a foam. They feel like vomiting, okay? There's a sensation that um, they want to vomit. But most common is headache, your general fatigue, you just want to sleep, okay? Um, if in worst cases, no, Sometimes you have to sleep like, you know, um, the, the whole evening before you have a walk. No? Depend, depending on sa, sa kagrabe. There's worse, no? uh, it will take days before you have a walk and headache. Okay, so for me, this is the refractive condition or error of refraction that has uh, a lot of uh, symptoms. And also, kind of very complicated to actually uh, uh, manage you know, because of the the complex um, the complex uh, dynamics of this refractive condition. You know, um, most of the time, a uh, patient will come to you complaining of other things. No, they will not complain about their vision, okay? Uh, because the vision is actually fluctuating. You know? There are times uh, the vision is clear, okay, we're talking about astigmatism. Um, sometimes the vision is clear, and sometimes the vision is blurry. Okay, sometimes in one uh, setting, it blurs, it clears, it blurs, it clears. Okay, so um, sometimes the patient will come to you with different uh, symptoms. And uh, normally, normally in the morning, they are okay. Okay, usually the problem will arise around uh, 10, 11, or most like uh, after lunch because the eye is already tired. So the symptoms will surface now. Okay, as I mentioned in the other video, um, an astigmatism would all of us has you know, what we call physiological astigmatism. So this is the amount of astigmatism that our eye can compensate. So in the morning, because our eyes are relaxed, no? So our eyes have rested, so our eyes has the ability to actually compensate for astigmatism. But as the day, um, as the day will uh, continue, okay, around midday, 
Now the symptoms will start to surface. Then the patient will feel a lot of discomfort already. Okay, so pauna siya ang astigmatism. Now, as a, as a form of review, um, we have already uh, talked about emetropia. Okay, we talked about emetropia. Okay, this is the normal vision. So that means uh, vision is 2020. It is, uh, as I mentioned, it's not uh, perfect. Okay. There are uh, vision that are better than 2020, but uh, that is the acceptable normal, accepted normal vision 2020. So that's myopia. Now, myopia is uh, nearsightedness, as I mentioned. The patient will come to you with uh, a complaint of not being able to see far. But uh, here, they have a problem. Okay? Normally, they don't feel any headache. Their only uh, symptom is they cannot see far object. It's just blurry, but no headache, no nothing. Okay. Um, the third one is hyperopia. Now, hyperopia as I mentioned is the um, far sightedness. Okay, in layman's term, but uh, technically, hyperopic people, okay, patient has a problem for far and near. You know, their vision is also fluctuating. They also have headache. Usually, start from the frontal. No? Uh, from the side of the head, then uh, also it goes somewhere in the in the uh, temporal, okay. But uh, usually, okay, just just here frontal, no. And usually they they have this problem. Uh, they have these symptoms when they read, okay, for a long time. No, they come on, no, mo, mo, ba? Grabe man mo tuon, I'm sure, no. Sige mo tuon, no. Lapad niyo mo, no. So sa akin, pinangano mo pa huwag. No, mo na ako sa ngayon ng mga janti, labi na bata, bubo ko kayo yung bata, bubo ko kayo, no? ikibaw ko basa. Or actually, hindi man bubo ko kayo. It's just that, uh, nasya ko hindi mali sa mata. No? Uh, after reading for like 15-20 minutes, yung sakit yung mata man na he or she has to um, stop reading or stop studying. Yung mga interpret na bubo ko. No? So, um, that's how important uh, our job is no, as optometrists because uh, we can detect this type of problem early on. So, uh, bata pa lang, ma-check mo ba ng bata, 6, 7 years old, di ba na sila kibawo ng blur, ang ilang pananaw, no, ito sila normal na. Okay, they will never say na headache, mata din, but they will not complain. No, they, they have a very high level of adaptation, so they will never complain about these things to their parents. So, um, mona interpret sila as bubo, interpret sila as antisocial, like myopia for example, uh, bata, buka man, may bata din yung dudu-adua with other kids. Okay, sige na manigil ko, antisocial yung dudu niya siya, no, introvert, dili, di ay, ikaw ang nagdagdag siya, hindi siya nakita, matumba siya, madagma siya, no, magbabangga siya with other kids, hindi mo rin siya kita. No, ikaduwa din ako, tanawa na, no, ilabay na ito, hindi siya katarong labay, kaya, hindi siya kakita. Pero nagtuo siya ng normal na yung mata. Okay, huwag siya diba ako sa normal, di ba? If you don't know what is normal, you can never um, observe or uh, what you call that perceive what is abnormal, right? So, ona siya ang mga refractive conditions of the eye. Now, before na ito may ending video, I just want to see your classroom, ha? Ato na rin gawin. Uh, ato na rin i-scan down my money. Supposedly, in your classroom, Kung napa mo din, huh? this will fit around 20 people. Okay? Ang wala yung last one, supposedly. 